Please welcome Johan Griffith. Hello. Hi. We're very happy that you're here. Thank you. Thrilled to be here. Great. So it, it's been subtle. We haven't really mentioned it, uh, but you might have noticed that it is International Women's Day today. Yes. Uh, so we thought in the spirit of that day, we would ask you some questions that female actors and celebrities are used to hearing. Right. So uh, we actually talked to the audience uh, before and they've, they've helped us come up with some. So we'd like to start. Um, <clears throat> you are a hugely accomplished actor with a fascinating career. So can you tell us about your skincare regimen? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Um, well, I'm very lucky. My wife has uh, taught me from a very young age to moisturise daily and to put a little dab of SPF. And uh, your wife taught you from a young age. How yes. old were you? Yeah. How old were you when you got married? Well, I thought when we met, I was 26, so I, ca I consider that young now that I'm Stop in my it. 40s. Yeah. We're fine. And I have to say, you say the word wife, and everyone's just tuned out here. <laughs> uh, no flipping. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> um, you've, won a, you've won a place in the hearts of many with your role as Horatio Hornblower. We had to bring it up. So, Amy in the audience wants to know, uh, who's your favourite designer? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, well, tonight I am wearing, uh, I think it's a bit of D&G. Mm -hmm. It's Dolce these... And Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce for the yes, yes. Um, these jeans... Uh, Ralph Lauren Black label, Ooh, la, la. You know which what? costs an absolute fortune, <laughs> I must admit. And I don't think they make me look any cooler or younger. I do feel a bit like mutton dressed up as lamb. <laughs> <in the house. laughs> you know what, uh, you know, th thank you for playing along. I'm going to stop you. This is uh, not the most interesting television yeah. and mm. it, it's almost like um, maybe people shouldn't ask questions of celebrity <laughs> guests yeah. like this. Yeah. 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 yeah, maybe we can ask. More meaty questions. <laughs> yeah, questions that are more. So here's relevant. an important question. Your show is called Harrow. Your character is also called Harrow. Coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> Not just a pretty face. No, it didn't, it didn't get past me. <laughs> so. Yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but seriously, uh, your your character in the show is a forensic pathologist, yes. and what, when I sort of think of forensic pathologist or, or a crime drama, I kind of think of bleak, cold climates with crappy diner coffee, and this is shot in sweaty, tropical, beautiful Brisbane. What was that like? It was boiling hot. <laughs> it was wonderful for my skin. Okay. Yes, no moisturising needed. Uh, no, it was tremendous, actually. I... I very foolishly uh, decided that the character would look wonderful in a wax jacket. <laughs> and of course, oh. in the sunny climes of uh, Brisbane, Queensland, it, I was regretting it from the first moment on set. <laughs> but at least it looked good. Looked good. That's yes. what matters. Yes. Beauty on, is pain. On this day, yes. the day of women. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Look, I heard something interesting about you uh, being a blood phobic. I'm a fellow blood phobic, and how the hell do you deal with that on a bloody crime drama? Oh. What's it? There's blood everywhere, you're feeling sick. What, like, what's your process? Oh. How do you get over it? I'm hopeless. I'm pathetic. <laughs> I, it, when I give blood, <laughs> I, I, gotta. I, have to, I have to lie on the bed. It's embarrassing. It's I once slapped a nurse. <laughs> 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 to be fair, she wasn't giving blood. There was just yes, a bit of beef, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> She'd do a, it again. Yeah. It was in a club in Brisbane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You like clubbing in Brisbane, down, don't down you? Valley, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. So it was. We, yeah. It was good. What Brisbane? Look, you know, uh, special Brisbane, place in your heart, doesn't it? It really has, actually. I mean, the the show is set there. It's uh, it's a character in the piece, Brisbane. I mean, my character lives on a boat. He lives on the Brisbane River um, with the CBD in the background. It's absolutely stunning. So it's almost like a sort of a, a love poem to Brisbane. That sounds oh, great. Yes, and, yeah. and seeing as you've been hanging out in Brisbane for a bit, uh, we mm. want to make sure that, you know, you're fitting in all right. We just want to make sure that you feel at home. So, um, yeah. Greta, we've got a few phrases that we thought we might run yeah. by you. Just we've to check. included yeah, the yeah. audience and we've included the viewers. The viewers yeah. have written in some things um, that they'd like you to translate. So um, mm -hmm. Dazza from Gunda Windy writes... <laughs> You just translate this into um, into into Welsh or English or well yeah English we'll go with English. <laughs> um, yeah, to translate this to English, fair dinkum, I just busted a plugger trying to get a leg over the chook. <laughs> well, to be perfectly fair, 
I broke my leg trying to slip a female uh, wand. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but it Is was that right? took his chicken, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> How one. embarrassing. Yeah, uh, Sharon from Gimpy Rides. Can Chuck, are you in your tracky dax? <laughs> it's such a poetic language. Uh, uh, trucky ducks, uh, shoes that you wear to drive a lorry. <laughs> you know, pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Um, um, yeah, it means it means. Um, yeah, t- come on, go on, make a U-turn whilst wearing your track pants. <laughs> um, oh, I say that on a nice. daily basis. <laughs> Burp and Gary from Burp and Gary writes, Hi, Mum. I actually don't have that. Um, Okay. Uh, Look, maybe as a parting thought, you could give us a Welsh phrase. Yeah. May I share my favourite Australian phrase that I learned on set? And not every Australian that I've met knows this one. So in the morning, my my dear friend Denley would drive me to set and we'd have coffee together. One morning, I forgot to drink the coffee because we were chatting away. And I arrived on set and he said, uh, I said, oh, look, my coffee's freezing cold now. And he said, don't worry, mate, stick it in the old tucker fucker. <laughs> let me guess, let me guess, microwave? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Denley sounds legit. <laughs> Denley <laughs> sounds <laughs> absolutely legit. All right, so you can catch the lovely <laughs> Yoan in Harrow. It premieres tomorrow night at 8.30pm on ABC. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.